Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. On this edition, the Geek Squad comes to Fort Mead. Pissar names the yards of the year. And National Night Out is coming up. These stories and more. But first, some construction news. Fort Mead residents and commuters have no doubt noticed the construction along Maryland Route 175. Recently, Route 175 was expanded to five lanes from the Baltimore-Washington Parkway. That's 295 up to Rockenbach Road. Earlier this week, the next phase of 175's expansion started with work between the Rockenbach and the Disney Road intersections. The expansion, driven by Fort Meade's Brat growth, will eventually see an upgrade to four intersections along 175, including these two, and in time the intersections of 175 and Mapes and 175 and Reese Roads. Estimated completion time for this phase of the project is sometime this fall. Beyond the lane expansions, improvements to the intersections will include a new traffic signal, new sidewalk, and a proposed 10-foot hiker biker trail that will run along eastbound 175. You can stay tuned to Meade TV for further Fort Meade construction updates. Meanwhile, every summer, the Best Buy Geek Squad runs 40 science and technology camps for kids across the country. One of those camps was held right here at Fort Meade earlier this month. We spoke with Norma Villa, a Geek Squad field lieutenant, about the Summer Academy. Geek Squad Summer Academy, we are currently in our sixth year. Uh, we started back in 2007 and it's grown from one camp all the way to 40 different camps this summer. Uh, we are very excited because we do have the Joining Forces initiative this summer. Um, we're doing six different camps for the Joining Forces. Um, basically what Summer Academy is all about is that we're a technology immersion camp. They get a lot of hands-on experience with computers and we find that when you have hands-on experience with something, that's when the kids really take to learning, uh, learning you know, the best. So during the first day that they're going to have um, basic training on all of the equipment that we use and then on the second day it's a little bit more advanced. So they take all of the projects that they learn from the first day and they continue on to the same project the second day. This camp we do have about 120 kids. So depending on how many, um, uh, we, we do work with two different nonprofits at this camp. So we are working with the base here at the youth center. We also are working with the Campfire USA and the Army Reserve, and everyone comes together to create one big camp for all the kids. It's a lot of fun. The Fort Meade Garden Club and Pacern Military Housing have named the winners of this year's Yard of the Year competition. Meade TV's Marine PFC Kevin Little got us some shots of the winning lawns. A Yard of the Year was named for each housing section. Starting with Normandy Bluffs, the winners were the Owen family. The Scott family won top honors in Patriot Ridge. In Midway Commons, the Gilbert family will get to display the Yard of the Year sign proudly. Other winners included the Palmer family in the Potomac Place housing area. The Muse Forest winners were the Williams family. And finally, taking a look at Heritage Park, the winners were the Fish family. Congratulations to all the winners. In more military housing news, one of the largest community-wide events of the season is coming up next Tuesday, August 7th. The Director of Emergency Services and Pacerne Military Housing invite the entire community to the McLaughlin Parade Field for the 29th Annual National Night Out. Police and emergency services units all over the country are sponsoring National Night Out events. The goals are to heighten crime and drug prevention awareness, generate support for local anti-crime programs, and overall strengthen the relationships between police and the local community. Fort Meade's National Night Out has consistently ranked among the best. In its size group, Fort Meade has been honored with the best National Night Out event the last four years. This year's event promises to be just as good. Beyond the police demonstrations, there are activities and fun for the entire family. Once again, it's National Night Out, August 7th from 6 to 9 p.m. on the McLaughlin Parade Field. Finally, the United States Army Field Band, based right here at Fort Meade, starts their summer concert series next weekend. August 4th, it's the Concert Band and Soldiers Chorus at 7 p.m. at Constitution Park. That's Meade Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Meade TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Meade Week. When you're on tour, you get to perform for hundreds and thousands of Americans that you've never seen before and bring them a slice of music that hopefully they're very receptive to and they haven't heard. But when you're here, you get to perform for your family and your friends and for the Fort Meade community. And here we get to bring it directly to them. The Concert Band and Soldiers Chorus this year is um, providing uh, the enlisted leaders an opportunity to conduct the ensemble. So that will be totally fun. First concert is the Concert Band and Soldiers Chorus. The second concert, the next Saturday, is the Jazz Ambassadors, America's Big Band. And then the third of those concerts is the Volunteers, which is our pop rock band. And then the fourth and final concert of the series brings everybody back together. Definitely look forward to it because we work with so many great people, but we don't necessarily always get to work together.